In her own words, Doreen says her chance to act as Ada in Coffee Shop on Urban Television opened her doors for other movie directors to cast her. So when I went for the uh, Coffee Shop um, auditions and I went through, I got on board, it was an amazing experience, I got friends, I saw people who actually act, uh, the Shakira Tanyas, those girls are really great, so yeah, I got exposure and I got friends and that is how I even got to be noticed by my director right now. In her latest movie, The Only Son, Doreen acts as Livia, the street girl who ran away from home and wasted her life on the streets due to lack of love at home. But according to Only Son, it is... It was the dad's, you know, will to teach the son and groom him into a man. Stop being useless, you know, drinking and women, that's all. But groom him into a man. So that was the major reason, cause of him being on the streets. And, and the uncle didn't really care about him that much. So, yeah, it's basically people, uh, these children lack love and affection. So they just seek out. Having acted in coffee shop, it took her two weeks to fit in the new role as a street girl. Uh, it took me like two weeks, yeah, because I used to see them like every day, so it was not hard. Having played the role of a street girl, Doreen cautions the public on the way they treat street children, saying some of them have rather heartbreaking stories. It, it, it shows us the different life of these people. You know, most times when we see the street kids, we don't really think, or we think they're thieves, you know, when they, when they beg and they don't have anything to offer, they, you know, pinch you and stuff. So that's all we know about them. But what is behind there? How do they get there? And what is behind there? How can we save them? And how do these kids, you know, and are leaving, how do they get to these places? And how can we reveal them instead of just staying on the streets the whole time? How can they go back to their families? And why are they, the reasons? Why are they there? So we can, you know, help them and they can get back to their families. The producer of the movie that cost 70 million shillings says the project took less than a year after the cast was selected. He appeals for the government, the media and Ugandans to give the Uganda movies a chance. I think if the government fulfills what they have promised to us as movie makers, we shall be good to go. Because if 